story we have today is called Ollie and Me. One, two, three. And on the front cover we have these two children. I'm going to guess that this is Ollie, the baby, right? And this is me, <laughs> but we need to know what her name is too, don't we? And she has some nice beads that she's showing to her little baby brother. Those are good for counting and playing with. I like those, those are a fun toy. Do you have any like that? Let's see what the story is about. Ollie and me, one, two, three. So a picture of Ollie. See, he's a crawling baby, isn't he? He's a small baby. And this book is by Shirley Hughes. And I know you like to play those games with blocks where you build towers. Do you like building with them or do you like knocking them down better? Both are fun, aren't they? Ollie and me. One, two, three. One is me, Katie. That's the girl's name. One is me, Katie. Here I am, all by myself. She's a nice little girl, isn't she? Oh, and there's the number one with one dot. One green dot. Okay, and then here's the number two. One, two. And she says, but I am not by myself for very long. Here comes Ollie, my baby brother, and that makes two of us. One, two. And you can see that they're sharing some kind of a snack. What is that? Maybe pieces of apple, do you think? I like crunchy apple. It's delicious. And here they are playing down here. Look, they both have hats on and they're marching, march, march, march. That's fun, isn't it? One, two, okay. There's another number two, do you see? You need two to play a game of hide and seek. Who's hiding? Do you see Katie hiding? And who's doing the seeking? That's Ollie, isn't it? Or a bouncing game like the one I play with Grandpa. That's fun too, isn't it? So, see, it's one, two, two people. Do you play games like that with your mom or your dad or Grandma or Grandpa, those are fun games. Two things often go together in pairs, like shoes, one, two, one, two, one, two, and socks, see the pairs of socks? What else goes together? Banging saucepan lids. If you have two lids, you can bang them together. Or these twin babies who were born on the very same day. One, two babies. They have the same mommy, the same daddy, and they were born on the very same day. Isn't that special? Two, two, two. Three. Three. See the three? The yellow three. One, two, three. Three is company. When my friend Nora comes to play. So this must be Nora. And there's Katie. And who's the third? Oh! Ollie playing in the pool. OK, 
can't wait for it to be nice and warm summertime so we can play in the pool again. How about you? Isn't that fun? What's Katie playing with? Do you see her big green watering can? So many fun things you can do with water in the summer when it's nice and hot. Pouring and splashing. And she's maybe going to give a drink to the plants. Give a drink to some flowers. All fun things to do. What else is three? Or when our cat Ginger is in a good mood and lets us pet her. What pets do you know? There's one, two, three. Ollie, Ginger, and Katie. There's four. Four. One, two, three, four. My friend Nora's cat has four dear little kittens. Each of them has four neat white paws. We count the kittens. One, two, three, four. Each of them has their four little paws. They're all look like little socks they have on, don't they? There are four people in our family. When we go out, we usually take our dog Buster too, and that makes five. So let's count some things here. We have Buster, and then we have how many birds? One, two, three, four birds. And down here, oh my, where are they? Can you tell? What do you think? By how they're dressed? Where do you think they might be? They're eating, can you see that? They're having kind of a picnic lunch. And Kate has a bathing suit on. She has a swimsuit on. So I'm thinking that they are at the beach. They seem to be sitting in sand, don't they? So there's how many people? One, two, three, four. But she says they bring Buster too. So then there's five. Buster likes to chase birds, but he never catches any. Well, that's a good thing. He has fun, and the birds get to keep flying. Here's number five. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers on each hand. That's helpful, isn't it? Are very useful for counting. Yes, they are. There's that picture that we saw on the front cover, isn't it? Katie has five beads that she's holding up for Ollie. Five fingers on each hand. Can you count your fingers? Five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. And here are five falling leaves and five friends meeting in the park. So let's count the leaves. One, two, three, four, five. And how about the friends? One, two, three, four, five. Five friends meeting in the park. That looks like fun. There's more five. Five of us do ballet together. Amanda and James and Kim and Nora and me. But when Ollie tries to join in, there are six. 
So one, two, three, four, five outfits for do doing ballet. But when Ollie joins in, there are six. Let's see if we can count all of the children. One, two, three, four. Oops, I gotta get a hold of the book. Five, six. Ollie likes to try too, doesn't he? That's nice. Six. There's the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six of us when Grandma and Grandpa come to visit. So let's see, there's Katie and there's Ollie. There's their mom and their dad, and that must be grandma, and that must be grandpa. So let's count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when I give my own special tea party in the garden, there are six of us too. Who comes to the special tea party? Looks like here's her friend. One, and Ollie, two, and her little doggy, three, and Buster, four, and Katie, five, and her dolly, six. Playing outside, aren't they? They have some real things they can eat, and then they have some pretend things to eat. We don't really want to eat those, do we? Do we just pretend? Buster is allowed to come along as long as he doesn't try to lick the plates. Do you see the plates here? One, two, three, four, five, six plates. Buster can be there, but he can't lick the plates. He's got to be a good doggy. Seven. Oh, the line of dots is getting very long, isn't it? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here are seven slithering sliders. Can you see them? Let's see if we can go back to the beginning of the slide and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Isn't that a nice picture? All the children playing and taking turns. Seven swift runners. What kind of runners are they? Are they doggies? The first dog has a stick in its mouth, and the other ones are all following. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is such a big number, we can hardly fit it all on one picture. And seven stylish hats. Everybody has a different one, don't they? Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven children wearing seven stylish hats. Eight. Oh my goodness, I gotta back up the paper so we can see it all. Eight. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight. And here are eight busy bouncers. Well, I know I can't show you the whole picture in one time because it's too big. There are so many children when we can count to eight. That's a big number. But they're all bouncing on pillows, so let's look at the children and count them. One, two, three down here. He kind of fell down. Four, there's the rest of them, five, six, 
seven, eight. He fell off the pillows altogether, didn't he? Eight busy bouncers. Eight children and one big brown dog makes nine. Number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shall we count the children? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the doggy, and Ollie makes nine. Wow. Is the ninth block going to make my tower fall down? Yes, but never mind. The falling down is part of the fun, isn't it? There it goes. Nine blocks. Can you build a tower with nine blocks? Let's see if you can. I bet you can do it. Ten. Let's back this way, way up so we can see number ten. I can hardly reach. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my. Ten people on a crowded bus. But here's one kind gentleman giving us his seat. Hooray. See this nice man here? He was sitting in this chair and now he's giving that chair to Katie's mom and Ollie and Katie so they can sit down. So let's count all of the people on the bus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people on a crowded bus. But they're not minding, are they? And how nice of that man to give his seat. Some things are too many to count. Look at this beautiful spring picture. Some things are too many to count, like blossoms falling from a tree or raindrops into a puddle. Can you see the, tree, the blossoms falling there? Blossoms are the flowers that come on trees like that in the springtime. And when they fall down, there's far too many of them to count. But Katie's certainly enjoying looking at them and being under them while they fall, isn't she? And there's Katie's mom talking to someone, right? And Ollie trying to learn to walk and their dog Buster. And everybody wants to be out, children riding bicycles. Everybody wants to be out because it's finally springtime what we are ready for, aren't we? And raindrops falling into a puddle. There's too many to count. Or flowers in the springtime or clouds in the sky going up and up. Numbers go on forever. You can try to count them, but there's just too many. Still, the counting is fun, isn't it? Is it something enjoyable to do? They don't mention it, but another nice one is to go outside at night and try to count the stars. So let's review here. We have one, one, two, one, two, three, 
one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Look at the duckies. Six duckies. One, two, three, four, five, six ducks. You see them? Four kitties, five children in a line, and six duckies. How about these children playing? Looks like Ring Around the Rosie, right? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven children playing. Let's go here to the front of the book. Then we can see eight, nine, and ten. So these children are all reading. Can you see the eight children reading? Let's try counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you can't see number eight. Let's try that again. Do you see them now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are such big numbers, you just have to keep backing the book up. We can't see them all. Nine children in a line. Looks like they're playing some kind of a game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then ten members of the family. One, two, three. Do you see the kitty cat she's holding? Four, five, another cat, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Did you count all the way to ten with me? If you did, good job. Well done. I hope you enjoyed the story. I love you.